Sicily to Greece, an epic and revealing passage. I'm Michael, and this is Vayu My Sailboat. Only gratitude can express what I feel. We left Mallorca for Sicily, sailing along the north coast, then over to the Aeolians, down the east coast of Sicily. A great adventure. So many things. I invite you to retrace this journey in the previous episodes. In this episode, we leave Sicily on a passage to Greece. Thankful for the thunder and cool drizzle in the middle of this sweltering summer. Ready for our passage to Greece and the arrival of my friend Javi, who did the passage with me from Mallorca to Palermo. He flew in from Mallorca arrived last night and today we have some final preparations. One of them being going up the mast. I'm going to see if I can fix my anchor light. Vamos. Javi does not go up mass. I actually enjoy the challenge, the excitement, the danger, and wow, well, the view when you get to the top, and the great sense of achievement when it's all over. Time to go down. After our last stop for a snack at the Fever Tree Bar, it was time to pack up. We got our trusty tender Felix strapped down and said goodbye. Marina de Ragusa. All seemed ready. Once offshore, he went with favorable west winds, pushing us east toward the Ionian Sea and Greece. Passing ships, the setting sun, great to be at sea again. We left Ragusa about three hours ago coming to the um, southeastern tip of Sicily. Then we'll go across the Ionian Sea. Uh, it's about a, say, three day sail. We have this beautiful following wind. Blowing roughly 18 to 20, 21, 22. Moving at seven, eight knots. A beautiful speed. He'll be on watch for three hours, and I'll take over after three hours. So a few days of three-hour watches. In Arrivederci, Italia. It's been fantastic. We'll be back. to Greece. It's actually a beautiful little breeze, very nice, only seven knots. I can feel it over my shoulder. Today I'm having a very dark coffee with a little bit of sugar. Every time I set off, it's like a rebirth. At first a bit awkward, getting used to being at sea after being on land. But with a little time, I sink into it and the unfamiliar becomes part of me. And after a couple of days, it feels like home. I feel exhilarated, alive, sort of a rebirth, a cleansing, a spiritual renewal. You know, it made me think of a writer, prolific writer, and a Trappist monk named Thomas Merton. He wrote in the last century, and one of his most memorable quotes for me is the following. He said, the geographical pilgrimage is a symbolic acting out of our inner journey. Damn, damn, damn. We have two fuel tanks, number one and number two. 
Number one, fuel tank goes directly to the motor. Number two is to fill up number one. So I turned on the pump to top up number one, but I forgot to turn it off. And when number one fills up, the pump doesn't go off automatically. The excess goes overboard. Yes, overboard. So one half of all our fuel went overboard. Not long after the frustration of losing half the fuel, the wind died. But I was philosophical. I was into it. Eventually the wind returns. We motored east as the sun set behind us. I'll be first up on watch tonight. I might just go down and have a little rest before my watch time. Sleep is not what these passages are known for. Here on the open Ionian Sea, dawn of day two, moving like a bat out of hell. Nature's fuel is doing its job. Beautiful. And we're making good time to our destination, that's for sure. As long as we don't have some kind of emergency. Everything seems pretty tight. Hopefully she'll stay that way. The wind came in during the night, and at dawn we were really moving. It was clear that fuel would not be a problem, and if the wind kept up, we would be in Greece before the next day. Midday. Looks like we'll get there tonight, or maybe tomorrow at dawn. The wind has come down a bit. For planning routes and anchorages, harbors, our journey in general, I love pilot books. In them, we have everything we could need. So looking at the northwest wind driving us towards Greece, I studied the pilot book and decided we would anchor off a beach on the island of Kefalo. And ho! And as soon as Javi wakes up, I think we're going to have a shot of tequila to celebrate. Pinch away, salud. Salud. So finally, landfall and our anchorage for the night became clear. It's a dark night out there. Hopefully we will anchor in here about six miles away. It's in about an hour we should be there. Ah, it's a good morning. Beautiful day. Great anchorage after a long sail. We were tired last night. The last couple of hours were somewhat akin to a type of torture. The wind was blowing 18 to 20 up until maybe 300, 400 meters from here. I mean, it's amazing. We got here, quiet, perfect evening. Of course, we had our mandatory glass of scotch, and then it was time for bed. Thanks for keeping us company on the passage. Let's see what comes next. Around the corner, there's always something new. Or in 10 minutes, who knows? What a great passage. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up and check out some of our other episodes. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified of the next episodes on our journey to the Corinth Canal and beyond. Thanks for joining us.